Hello everyone. Today we will discuss producer's equilibrium. Who is the producer anyway? Who only produces any commodity or a service and then he sells in market and earn profit. So that's the producer. Many times you might have heard we will do business and earn profit. So profit earning is the basic motive of any producer. Here it is. Producer's equilibrium tells you that a person is in equilibrium, a producer is in equilibrium only when he earns profit, right? So what's the definition over here? It refers to a situation of profit maximization because why anyone will at all do any business if he or she will not earn profit. So equilibrium means happiness of a producer and happiness of a producer lies in profit maximization simple. Okay, a producer strikes his equilibrium at that level where profit is maximized, where a producer earns maximum profit, that is the condition of his equilibrium, right? Simple. Profit maximization means what? Producer's equilibrium. It's the equilibrium, okay? What's the equation over here? Profit or pi is the symbol is uh, being used. Profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. So, whatever he earns, he subtracts the total cost from that earning and he earns profit. The balance is what? That is your profit. So profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. Let's say a producer earns rupees 15 lakhs and his total cost is 10 lakh. Let's see an example over here. Okay. So here his total revenue is 15 lakh rupees and his total cost is suppose 10 lakh rupees. So what is the balance? 5 lakh rupees. So that's his profit. Simple. Okay, now we will differentiate between gross profit and net profit. What is gross profit? Gross means whole or total profit. Whatever total profit he earns after selling his produce in the market or product in the market. GP or gross profit is equal to total revenue. That was the thing. Total revenue minus total variable cost. What is variable cost? The cost of raw material, the cost of labor, the total labor. Uh, wage labor you can say and other cost of raw material like uh, you, whatever he uses in the production of that particular commodity so total uh, variable cost is the cost of variable factors of production that keep on changing on day to day basis okay it does not include the cost of machinery and wear and of capital inputs okay so total revenue much total variable cost is going to gross profit total or whole profit then what is net profit net okay Net profit or NP is equal to total revenue minus total cost or the total fixed cost plus total variable cost. What is total cost? Total cost is good total fixed cost plus variable cost. What is total fixed cost? It's the cost of your plant and machinery. That's a one time investment. So we and tier and depreciation of machineries is also included in this. So when we calculate net profit with that total cost, uh, total fixed cost also in this. We were deducting only total variable cost, but here we have added both of them and we have come to total cost and we are deducting that. So that's the difference is we deduct only total variable cost here and we deduct both the cost from your total revenue. Then we get net profit. Simple. Then there are three basic aspects of profit in business. Whether business will be going on or a producer will shut down his business depends on the three aspects of profit. Number one, that's abnormal profit. Here we have abnormal profit or extra normal. Normal means minimum necessary and subnormal means losses. Let's discuss them one by one. Abnormal means very good profit. If a person, he was earning 5 lakh rupees, an additional amount over his cost, that was abnormal profit. That means profits were abnormally good. He was good, he was very happy and here total revenue is greater than total cost. So it's a very good win-win situation for any producer and producer is smiling of course. Then, normal profit. Normal means the producer is just able to cover all his costs. The cost of raw material, the cost of plant and machinery and his cost also. Because when anyone does business, he is there to just earn something for himself also. So, whatever he was earning in, in his next job, whatever job he was doing, he should earn in this particular business also. Then only he will continue his business. So, he this cost covers his his own cost also, that's entrepreneurial cost, okay, the cost of risk taking is also included and he is able to just carry on his business and this is the minimum necessary profit, normal profit is the minimum necessary profit that is required to keep that businessman in that business, otherwise 
he will not do that business and he will shut down that business and in this condition total revenue is going to total call that means he is investing 10 lakh rupees the cost is total cost is 10 lakh and total revenue is also 10 lakh rupees so both are equal okay so in that case he may say zero profit but zero profits are normal profits uh, in market companies earn only normal profits then sub normal profit here the condition is okay okay going on the business can go on for on and on okay sub normal profit means here the company or the firm starts or producer starts earning losses sub, sub normal profits are losses and they are really really bad for any type of business and all the producers try to avoid that particular condition that's the condition of sub normal profit that means here total revenue is less than total cost you uh, let's take an example if you are investing 10 lakh rupees in some uh, venture or any business okay production production here the total cost is 10 lakh rupees and the revenue suppose is only 7 lakh rupees and revenue is falling short of 10 lakh rupees you can see here or not okay 10 lakh minus 7 lakh is what here the revenue is negative okay 10 lakh uh, total revenue is 7 lakh 7 lakh minus 10 lakh is your minus 3 lakh that means he is earning losses of 3 lakh rupees in that case the condition is really bad and he will shut down that business and he will not do that business he will move on to some other job or business like that so these aspects are really important if a producer is earning sub abnormal profits he will be very good he will be very happy normal profits okay he will go on in that business and if he is earning subnormal profits or losses he will stop to continue in that business he will shut down his business okay so let's see our diagram also to discuss diagrammatic presentation of producers equilibrium we need a schedule okay schedule of producers equilibrium here what is there quantity is there 1 2 3 up to 11 then marginal revenue is there remember we are discussing producers equilibrium in perfect competitive market perfectly competitive market so the marginal revenue and average revenue will be same and that curve the perfect competitive curve is horizontal to your x-axis remember so marginal revenue will be 12 okay 12 up till 11 same it will remain constant then marginal cost it will first decrease and that will, it, will, it will increase so we have to keep this in mind and you can just take a screenshot of the schedule i have taken the schedule from trjn and vkoe so you can refer to your book also whatever uh, book you are referring then you can follow that schedule also okay then conditions for producers equilibrium we need basically two conditions number one condition is marginal revenue is going to marginal cost that means both of them should be equal. Then second condition is marginal cost is rising. We can fulfill these conditions in two uh, cases over here. Two output levels we can see here. I have indicated uh, uh, these two conditions through red. So we will have two solutions in our this schedule. Okay. So number one condition marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. This is being fulfilled in case number one here. Two years. Where producer is producing two years. His marginal value is 12, uh, 12 rupees 12 and his marginal cost is also 12. So in this condition, his first condition is fulfilled. Solution 1 is marginal value is equal to marginal cost is equal to 12. Okay. But what about the second condition here? Marginal cost is decreasing. It should decrease in fact. Okay. It should decrease. Uh, it, sorry. It is decreasing. It should rise in fact. The second condition we need to refer uh, is marginal cost is rising marginal cost should rise but what is happening in solution number one marginal cost is decreasing so we are unable to fulfill our second condition that is marginal cost is rising so this is not our solution we will not uh, accept this solution in case number two the solution number two what is happening at quantity 10 units yeah 10 units here also marginal revenue is equal to 12 and marginal cost is equal to 12 in that case uh, our marginal cost is rising also here marginal cost is rising here marginal cost is 12 thereafter it rises to become 15 so marginal cost is rising so both the conditions are fulfilled our solution number two so we accept this solution to be the right solution for our schedule and produces equilibrium so in long answer type questions if the question is not objective what you need to do you just need to make a schedule after you need to mention these two conditions of producer's equilibrium and then you can take two solutions or you can skip the solution part and you can just refer to the diagram also. So what about the diagram? Diagram is very simple to draw. I will tell you how to draw first of all. This is very simple to draw. Make an L. This is L. A large L. 
O X horizontal X Y axis then draw a line parallel to X axis this is for perfectly completed market and here your average revenue is equal to marginal revenue right simple both are equal then what we'll do we will draw one ball simple start this edge of ball from here and just intersect this line at two points at point number one here this point number one is quantity one okay here like this intersect meet it at x and then l1 this is quantity of output at l1 and this is two years condition number one then at second point where it is intersecting here so here also l2 and at 10 years so what is happening here at this point now we will refer to our main diagram at this point your marginal cost and marginal revenue both are equal or not because they are intersecting and they are both at 12 12 this is 12 so this is horizontal it will remain 12 so this is also 12 it is intersecting both are 12 so marginal cost is marginal revenue but second condition what is that marginal cost is rising here the marginal cost is decreasing see you can see decreasing okay so it's decreasing it's falling so in that case the solution number one is not acceptable what we will do we will keep on producing a producer will keep on producing just we have studied in law of variable proportions a producer will keep on producing until he will reach this point again his marginal cost uh, will rise and intersect again at this point at your marginal revenue curve here also marginal revenue and marginal cost both are equal at they are at 12 so here at 12 at 22 output 10 units of output our marginal cost and marginal revenue are equal and here the second condition is also being fulfilled that is marginal cost is rising so this is the point of equilibrium for producer and with your eyes shut you can write this point as producer's equilibrium this is your point this is your answer this is the solution okay that's all about producer's equilibrium it's such an important topic but it's very easy to understand only the thing you need to understand is economics is really quite easy but you just need to refer to the points uh, nicely and you will just remember them thank you so much take care best of luck for your studies thank you